Islam does not give clear guidance on this question. You are going to find something. Go on. While you're doing that, let me give you another example. In Galatians, chapter 1, verse 15. But when he who had set me apart before I was born and had called me through his grace. The Bible teaches all life is predestined and therefore abortion is an affront to the will of God. But let me ask you this question as a Muslim. Where is where does life begin according to Islam? Where does life no where does life begin according to Islam? Where does life be this this is an obvious question. Anyone could do you understand my question, sir? Yeah, do you, under, do you understand my question, JC? Do you understand my question? So everyone else understands this question. So I'll ask you again. According to Islam, where does life begin? Oh, sperm's alive, isn't it? A sperm's alive, isn't it? Is that what you mean? It's a cell that's alive, yes, but it's not a human life. It's not a human life. No, it's conception after conception. So you're saying a week after. You're saying a week after. Yeah, like you're saying. You're, you're, you're saying a week after. No, you just said from conception. That's I believe, yeah. as a Christian, yeah. I believe it because the Bible teaches it. So you're saying as soon as you like make love to your wife, then that's where life begins. Yes, that's what I believe. What do you believe as a Muslim? How, how is that scientifically? Where is that? What, 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 what? Okay, how so is scientific? how is that scientific? Yeah, how? Because the only reasonable definition of life is the autonomous, gener the autonomous and continuous de generation of cells. I am alive because my body generates cells and will do so up to death. And when I die, my body will stop generating cells where does this continuum of cell generation begin it begins at fertilization so my faith corresponds to our findings in science and it corresponds to the teaching of my holy book but in islam muslim scholars disagree about where life begins that means that some muslims automatically think that other Muslims are committing murder through abortion. But Islam claims to be clear guidance, perfect guidance for mankind. I have given you an example that proves that it is neither clear nor perfect on a topic that is about haram and halal. If you so, deal with my point. You just go against your own point. If it's clear cut, like you said in the Bible, it is. And why there's so many abortions in Christian nations? Okay. It's so the brother that. asks. Is this clear cut? And why so, so, many so the brother asks, why do Christian nations carry out so many abortions if it's clear cut? Simple, because they are not disciples of our Lord Jesus Christ in their politics. They are not disciples of the Lord Jesus Christ in their bioethics. Christianity is a complete way of life that embraces the politics and bioethics. The very fact that there are bad Christians or non-Christians in a Christian country does not change what the Bible teaches, nor does it address the point that I've invited the Muslim brother to address multiple times where does life begin according to the quran there is zero guidance on this question that's why muslims make up their own answers and they make up different answers and this question's important because people are dying depending on the answer you give Agreed. Okay, so we so we can tell that the brother has no answer. Maybe maybe this brother has an answer. Do you understand the critique, brother? Do you understand the critique that I've made? Do you understand what I just said? Yeah, but do you understand my critique? It's a contradiction. Okay, it's not listening. So, brother, do you understand the critique that I made? He understands it. Sister, did you understand the critique that I made? 
Yes, she understands it. So the reality is, if Islam claims to be clear guidance, perfected guidance, and it does not tell you when life begins, then that affects the question of whether it is haram or halal to have an abortion, and when you have that abortion. And that means if Muslims have no consensus on this question, on a really fundamental question about whether you're committing murder or not, Islam gives you zero guidance and consensus. I agree. Yep. But that doesn't address my point though, does it? He doesn't get my point. Did you get my point, sir? He got my point. Did you get my point? He got my point. Did you get my point? So everyone around us understands my point except him. And this happens in debate after debate after debate with the Muslims. The Muslim always says, I don't get your point. I don't get your point. But everyone else understands it.